What's going on everyone, Metal Raymond here and welcome back to another Group Iron Man episode number 80 for you all today. I ain't even gonna say shit about what's about to happen because this is going to be the craziest thing you'll ever see in any of my Group Iron Man episodes. Crazier than a psych, something I never imagined would happen on Brunex in my playtime. I, I don't want to spoil shit, you just have to fucking see this shit for yourself. Before we get into the actual video, we have a $25 bond for you all. If you want to enter that giveaway, all you need to do is, of course, subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment your game name down below, and turn on post notification. You've done all of that, you enter the giveaway, wish you all the best of luck on that. If you're new to Runex and you want to try it out for yourself, please do use the link at the top of the description, it helps me out a ton if you do. And of course, make sure you join the Runex Discord and my own private Discord, the Metal Squad. Links for both of those will be in the description down below as well. With that being said, I really hope you guys will enjoy this episode, so let's hop right into it. Got a little uh, Callisto task, mainly because we need Grand Crest Pieces 1. It is now weak to Stab and Mage. I wanted to see how it goes, but... Honestly, we're hitting absolutely fine with the Brimstone Hammer so far. Sure, it's not hitting like 70s, but doable nonetheless. And we got a shitload of drop right on us, so let's hope for the best, I suppose. 160, wait, 165? Oh yeah, the Cursed Orb as well. Damn, that's a lot. Alright, good morning to you all. Gonna go ahead and try to get another... Uh, what? Oh. Gonna try and get another Callisto task so we can continue with the Grand Crest Pieces 1 grind. Hopefully we can get another, I believe, four of them? I wanna get enough to uh, enough Grand Crest Pieces 1 that if I can get the other pieces we'll have 10 full crests in total. We are now at 6 full crests and 2 spare ones, so 2 more to make eight total and then another two. So yeah, four more Grand Crespies, one and then two of the number two and trees. Actually, before I do some Callisto, it might be wise to just use up some lava keys, see if we get lucky on that. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and YOLO it and hope for the best. Just hope we don't get PK'd, I suppose. And what kind of loot are we getting? I don't think I'm getting any. Oh God, I did get an announcement. Oopsie, where's the Dragon Fool Helm? Put it in my looting bag. Same with the blood money. I find it hard to say if I got any good loot. Coins, yeah, it doesn't seem like anything too special. Would have expected some more uh, good stuff, you know? I, I... <laughs> what a nice guy. No Grand Crest pieces or anything special like that. I actually could have used that key as well. Alright, second inventory. Let's see if we get a little bit luckier this time. No, let's just spam click them all open. Oh, Grand Crest piece 2. Beautiful. And a Grand Crest piece 1. Very nice. One more key. Is there anything else? Phoenix crossbow? Two Grand Crest pieces though, that's very very nice. And shout out to that kid for helping me out. What an absolute mad lad, bro. Alright, that puts me at 10 remaining keys. If we could get a few more Grand Crest pieces, I would be extremely satisfied with it. I am expecting some purple text shit if it, there is something good. Nothing, nothing. Dragon legs. Prize box. Another Grand Crest piece one, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That saves some Callisto at least. That puts us at two more full crests actually. With that one, that is pretty good. All right, the keys weren't everything I ever hoped for, but at two more full crests, I'll gladly be taking that. Putting us at eight now. So two more Grand Crest pieces, one, one more two, and two more three to go. Quite unsure what's up with these tyrannical rings, but Callisto seems to shit them out for me. I don't know. I. I I don't have an answer. Look at that, 11 rings. I'm at 6 Odium, 4 Malediction and 11 rings. They're the same drop rate. Just need a deep pick for the log, so if I could get that, I would be pretty happy about it. There we go, finally a crest piece again. Ah, uh, been a few tasks, well at least one full one where I didn't get it. And a ton of tyrannical rings still, like I have like 14 in the bank. It's an absolutely ridiculous number if we have a look at the uh, log right now, 14 tyrannical rings. 
My man Vrotko just got a 4KC fucking serve right Halley, bro. You have got to be kidding me. Oh, that stinks a little, man. I ain't even finna lie. Jesus Christ. What kind of luck do you need to receive it at 4KC, man? What the hell? Oh my god, Grand Crespi's right after it. Bless you, Frotko, for getting the heli. That obviously helped in me getting this Crespi's. I am so close to being done. And I am so happy about that. You guys have no freaking clue. I want to get this Crest Root set over and done with. So let's go ahead and uh, grind out the remaining pieces. Okay, cut. Sure. <sighs> Just two more wildy levels, run for your life. And here we are, goodbye. Alright, for the first time in my life, I'm actually gonna go ahead and open some Larynx keys. I think I'm all good when it comes to being protected here with a divine toxic staff for the special attack. Justiciar, shitload of soaking all together. And I risk absolutely nothing, even if I do die except for the keys and or loot from the keys. And I just gotta make sure I don't get full TB'd. However, something to keep in mind is the new magic sickness. You cannot teleport out for like, what, 30 seconds or something after opening the chest? The main reason I want to open them right now is for the potential of a crest piece. Same reason I did the lava keys. You know, maybe it could save me going from Pananadas if I get a grand crest piece too, for example. We're gonna have to loot it and put it in our looting bag every single time. Point mystery chest. Let's hope we go a while without any announcements so we can dip as soon as it happens. Yeah, 30 seconds magic sickness. So far, so shit. Oh, there's a brackish blade. Interesting. Cursed boots. Not even bad. That's so early on as well. A lot of blood money. I ain't gonna run, honey. And that is the last one. Not lucky on the Grand Crest pieces or a cudgel, but we did complete one of the achievements at least. I don't know even how good a brackish blade is. I think it has its purpose and it works like a Dragon Warhammer. But I'm not entirely sure how, why, or when I would use it. Anyway, easy enough. We can just go ahead over here, run up here, and then use that teleport. Instead of running to Mage Bank, I feel like the odds of encountering someone if I go that way is a bit higher. And we're out. Wow, didn't even encounter a single person. In case any of you wanted an overall loot, some Elixir, King Lava Teleport, 4 point mystery chest, some Dragon Lanks, 30k block money. Very, very useful right there, bringing us up to 970k. And some Dragon Bones. Brackish is probably the best loot out of it all, though. Alright, free sack of riches, 50 mil, some Eever. And two more Lava Keys. Could go for those, but I'm lazy. Don't want to do that right now, do I? Oh, we have some Cursed Crates, of course, from uh, Callisto. Some Point Chests, and of course, Bags of Riches. Yay, 32 of them as well. Goddamn, what do we get from these? Freaking Ankau boots? Socks? They're socks, not even boots. Let's go ahead and open these first. Shitload of bonus point chest. Oh, wait! 250 mil cash from a bag of riches. The first time that ever happened. And a lot of bags I might I had. Some juicy room X points right there. That's actually quite a hefty amount. Some more blood money and tuckle. Prize box, junk. Lava feathers, decent. I think the uh, King Lava Dragon has had a little update to his drop table as a whole. He now drops a 1 in 100 chance for a Grand Crest. I don't remember that being there. Same with the Epic Lava Keys. I could be totally wrong. I knew about the Lava Fire Shield, but since I have 8 of those scrolls, I figured I might as well go ahead and kill them very, very quickly and easily. Uh, let's just grab a good setup real quick. Alright, here we go. Let's hope this goes well. I don't remember whether you could or could not use Epic Lux here, and I forgot my Dragon Slayer gloves like an idiot. But uh, I am hoping it works at least. Uh, we'll find out soon enough. Should be very easy to kill this little fucker. I did bring some food because he does deal damage from time to time. Can be a bit tricky, but uh, doable to say the least. Huh, I wonder what his weakness is because I'm not hitting too well with his side. Yeah, he's weak to range than stab, so perhaps I could use a Dragon Hunter Lance instead. Might be a lot more accurate. Epic Lux do not work here, okay, confirmed. Uh, Grand Lava Dragon Hide, Lava Eel, 20 of them. And Lava Dragon Bones, I don't care about those. Let's go ahead and grab a Dragon Hunter Lance and finish off the rest of our scrolls. I just wasted the scroll by dying, because I simply wasn't paying attention. Stupid. Didn't realize it could deal that much damage, to be honest. Look at those hits, bro. The lava fire, man. God damn, just melee me a bit. Alright, second kill. Nothing special again. Lava runes. Wowzers. Let's just go right back in. 
Next kill, more lava eels. Damn, lava dragon, drop me something juicy and useful, please. Next one, grand crest, please. Aww. Here we go, next one, come on, give me something juicy. Bags of riches, okay. Do have to say, this log is gonna be harder to complete than I originally thought. Lava dragon, oh yeah, just like a few items. Lava whip, get a key, coif. All right, last one, come on game. Reward me a little bit here for all these scrolls. No dragon plate skirts, two of them. They get a bunch of hides, but definitely not what we were hoping for. Two bags of riches again. All right, then back to Wildy Slayer it is. Gonna try to get a uh, Vananatus or a Vadion task, one or the other. Vadion it is. Preferably I would just scythe the fucker. Like, that would be ideal in my opinion, but... You know, since this tome came out, I would highly prefer using one-handed weapons. It just seems so much more useful now. I wanna get that drop rate, you know what I mean? So, uh, we're gonna go with this. Okay, there's no one here that's a big plus one. Oh, he is lower hp would uh, We'll see how things go. Hopefully we can just get the two remaining crest pieces quickly, because that's all there is to it. Two grand crest pieces and we're done. Three kills in, there's our first one. One more to go, easy. Okay, there's number two, easy. We're done with Fatty Home. That was ridiculously fast. What the hell, man? All right, just one more to go now. Grand crest piece is just a crest piece number two and we'll have 10 crests again. Cannot wait. Let me go ahead and get a uh, Fenonatus task this time around. Gonna just cancel this fucker, I don't wanna do more Vedion right now. There we go, Fenonatus task extend, prefer, bada bing, bada boom, bada bing, bada boom. Use our cape, easy. I'll see you guys when I get a Grand Crest piece. There we freaking go, Grand Crest piece two, boys. Oh my god, it's been a little bit of a grind, but the final piece has been unlocked. Yes, full Crest route at last. What a beautiful set to withhold, man. I am so happy we got that out of the way. Looks so fucking dope. And then the bonus damage on top of it. Anyway, full crest route, 89 range, 15 range at strength, and 5% uh, PVM damage effect like crest bear while using great only gives an extra 10% boost when the full set is equipped. Wasn't fully aware, I could have sworn it was 7.5 at first. Maybe they changed that in a recent update? But, uh,. Yeah, 25% damage when the full set is equipped. Very, very nice. Kinda wish the um, Dark Root set effect was carried over. I feel like that would have been very nice. He reflects enemy damage for 5% of the damage taken per piece worn. I feel like that would have been a nice little extra, but definitely not necessary. Beautiful set to obtain, and we are finally done. Goddamn, Crest Root unlocked. Next far distance goal. Um, I wanna get myself the Grand Boots Eye for sure. Gonna need an imbuing crystal, but these are not the best in slot. Never wanted to get Grand Boots specifically for the reason that I would use defaults anyway. Why why get these if you have defaults? But now you can combine them, massive stat increase over the defaults, and then on top of it, um, they have the defaults effect. The only thing that's missing is 16 prayer. I'm not quite sure why they went with that, but even then, it's still a, an amazing boot. And of course, we have the new Crest Cloth, attached to ancestral robe pieces to create ancestral robes that give 7.5% damage boost against all monsters. Now, I am assuming that it still obtains its uh, or keeps its 5% magic damage. If that is true, and Crestal is freaking insane and you know, especially strong. It's five per cloth, but I'm not sure how many cloths you need per piece. I think it's one for the hat, two for the legs, three for the body, but I'm not sure, I haven't done this yet. The imbuing crystals are of course an absolute pain. We've tried getting one five times, haven't gotten them yet. Other than that, Shazian I might be on the agenda, maybe at some point. It's a good set, but at the same time, it gives the exact same uh, damage buff against dragons that you have with full crest bearer against everything, so it's not insanely useful except for the prevents poison venom dragon fire wyvern fire and this one prevents any kind of fire including lava dragon fire last but not least one thing i definitely want to get and i'm probably going to use my first imbuing crystal on this is the sanguine sd staff i now imbuing crystals might take a while to unlock but we're gonna try in the near future for sure lots and lots of things on the horizon can't wait to unlock a lot of the th uh, these things but now that we have this out of the way, we can finally start opening Grand Crests again instead of having to sacrifice them every goddamn time. Alright, I don't know how long I'm gonna last for, but I'm gonna try and do some Karazi right now. I wanna... Oh, I see a red dot on the map. That's not a good first sign. But basically, I wanna camp out Blood Diamonds right now. As many as I can. I wanna get those 150 uh, diamonds ready for the moment 
I end up getting uh, the Imbuing Crystal, so we can get a Sangstab Eye. That's gonna be the goal for now. Just gonna relax a bit on the island here and uh, see how everything goes. Do have to say I'm not planning to do any uh, Jungle Demon dailies or anything like it. I am mainly gonna focus on fighting Blood Shamans and basically nothing else. It's gonna be my main priority over anything, that is for sure. Because I want to get those diamonds up. We currently have 20. I think Goba might have a few as well. Maybe Mr. or up. I don't know how much Karazi they have done in recent times. I have no clue, but maybe they have a few. Would help us speed up the progress, but we'll hear from them once uh, they get online. <laughs> no fucking way, boys. I just got a set spin. <laughs> what? Oh my god. I was not expecting that. <laughs> What the fuck, boys? Let's fucking go. My recorder didn't go on immediately. I'm sorry if there's a freeze at the start. What? <laughs> I just killed it for my daily, bro. <laughs> no bloody fucking way, boys. Let's fucking go. <laughs> That's incredible, boys. No freaking way.